So I don't know about you guys, but to me the idea that a large heavy metal object can fly up into the sky and stay there for a long period of time is just a baffling notion of how that would physically happen. But as you can see here, I'm in a helicopter and it's flying. So how do helicopters fly? What's, what's the science behind that? After doing some research, I'm going to try and answer that question for you guys. The forces acting upon a helicopter are the weight, lift, thrust and drag. The lift is the force that allows a vehicle to fly. Generally, with the exceptions being a rocket, air will pass around an airfoil which is an object designed so that the lift produces much greater than drag when passing through air. Now planes use this, wind turbines use this, according to my research, and even F1 cars use it, although F1 cars use this concept for downforce, not for lift. The helicopter's blades act as an airfoil. They're curved to the top, flat on the bottom, so the air moves faster over the curve than it does underneath, which according to Bernoulli's principle means the pressure, the air pressure underneath the blade is greater than above. So that results in a resultant force upwards, which is the lift. There are other explanations that physicists have suggested for this, including one using Newton's third law. Pressure is also why normal helicopters cannot fly as high as airplanes. At higher altitudes, the air pressure is too low for the blades to generate sufficient lift. Newton's third law, every force has an equal and opposite force, affects everything. If object A applies a force on object B, Object B applies a force of the same magnitude on object A in the opposite direction. The body of the helicopter applies a force to the blades causing them to rotate. So the rotating blades provide a force known as torque onto the body of the helicopter, which would cause the body to slowly rotate in the opposite direction, making it hard to control. This is compensated for by the tail rotor, which provides a force in the opposite direction on the body. Another option is to use two rotors spinning in opposite directions to cancel out the torque. Now to change the direction of travel, the helicopter's propeller will tilt to provide more lift on one side of the helicopter in turn pushing the helicopter in the opposite direction. And yeah, that is the basics of the physics of a helicopter. I hope you guys learned something new. I definitely did. And remember to stay sciencey and enjoy your summer.